going to be my last video in Malaysia, and uh, to give a little bit of like a personal backstory, um, if you're watching this, maybe you have read the book Fruit Hunters by Adam Leaf Goldner, I think his name is. I, I was always interested in fruit, as <laughs> when I moved to New York and uh, got the first chance to kind of like walk around Chinatown. I was just like so blown away by, by seeing like fruit I didn't even know existed. And uh, a roommate that I had in New York was, I brought home like some fruit and he's like, oh, that's this, like I forget, it was like mango steens or something. And he was, uh, he was like, you need to read this book. And he uh, told me about fruit hunters. And I read it and I was just like, wow, there's other people out there that have this kind of fascination that I have. Uh, so I was really, really fascinated by that book. Um, and one particular thing in the book that really stood out to me was he, uh, the author gives an account where he basically has like a, uh, I wouldn't say religious experience, more like an anti-religious kind of experience with a fruit called a chumpadak. A chumpadak like fell from the tree while he was like out in another country and he like bent down and he like opened it up with his hands and like had a bit and he just like it's he said it like tasted so good that he had like an almost like animalistic reaction where he like tore into it and like ate this huge fruit like all on his own and he said it's like it tasted like fruit loops and his mouth was covered in like sugary uh pulp and like this all this stuff and i was just like that sounds amazing like you just like had like this animal kind of like reaction to a fruit and I was just like I want that uh, but Chempadex are very rare they're very hard to find uh, you can't get them in America as far as I know uh, but they're very common in Malaysia like you can get them here they're not something you find at every store but if you go to a produce market like a, a decent one you'll find one so I wanted to have that experience and I ended up getting one and it smells. And I was just like, ooh, this is gonna be like durian. Durian isn't very good, but I was just like, I, I wanted to try it. So I like, um, and the Jumpadex aren't allowed in my hotel, so I actually ate it at the bus station. Minutes before my, my bus opened its doors, I tore into this thing with my hands and grabbed a piece and ate it, and it was awful. Like, really, really awful. And, um, I, I I don't know. Maybe Adam Leif Gulner was a little more enlightened than I was, but like I I couldn't eat the thing. I took one little nibble of it, and I was just like, this is just like disgusting. It's disgusting in the way, um, like meat is to me. Like I'm a vegetarian, and just like something about a chempadak is very very uh, animal like. It's like eating a little alligator or like a little lizard, because it's like big. It's scaly, you rip into it, and there's like a little cord in the middle, like a little spinal cord, and little fruits kind of like hang off of it, like globules of like organs, and you reach in, you grab one of those little organs, and you eat it, and it's like slimy, and no, no, I'm sorry, but it's not, it's not good, it's not pleasant at all, um, and I kind of like was just like, I'm never gonna eat this thing again. But then I decided to do these fruit videos, <sighs> and I feel like even though I hate them, it it kind of rounds off the trip pretty um, pretty nicely for me to actually have one of these things. I was so looking forward to having it when I got here. I've I've seen a lot uh, in the past three months that I've been here. I've had a lot of different kind of fruits, so many that I decided to make these videos, and um, I think that I, I will continue to make them with uh, fruit I find in other countries, and in New York even, because we can get a lot there, but um, I'm going to round off my Malaysia trip and these videos by having the Chempadak, and I'll, um, I'm actually going to take this outside because it does reek like awful, really, really awful smell, but this is a Chempadak right here, take a look at that guy, it's, big, it's as big as my head, and it smells worse than my feet after a long day running in the sun.
So this is a Chempadaki, and they're big, which does it make it easier, because I'm probably going to take one bite of this and toss the rest. Uh, oh god, it's so nasty. It's like, you see there's like sticky crap coming out of it. Yeah, I'm sorry if you like Chempadax, but these things are just like repulsive to me. Um, <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that outside. Um, because it's already stinking up my room. I can see why they don't allow it inside. I'm walking to go outside, carrying this thing. It feels like I'm trying to dispose of a body. <clears throat> like I'm trying to commit some big crime. Okay, I am safely outside over by, uh, <laughs> a bus station. You see the bus is over there. I am as far away from, um, uh, public eye as I can be. I've got my knife. And I've got my chamber. Uh, smells so bad. And see, cutting into this is like cutting into an animal. It's got like skin, like scales on it. <sighs> it's like sticky. There it is. As you can see, there's like a little spinal cord in there. And then you have a little snotty little nuggets of fruit. It's unpleasant in just about every possible way. It's um, soft and kind of slimy. Yeah, so as far as texture goes, it is um, very slimy and stringy. It's got a funky taste to it. So I'm going to try to um, finish the rest of this by plugging my nose. I heard that eating durian is easier, like if you don't, you kind of like cut off some of your smell receptors. So let me see if this helps. <laughs> Surprisingly, that helps. It's like if you plug your nose, it kind of cuts off like that foul taste. Um, but as soon as you unplug your nose, it comes it comes back. And it's in your mouth. Um, it's like it's a big fruit, and I'm I'm just like eating half of one little glob here, and then I can't even get through that half. Um, so I'm gonna be bold and just like finish this piece and then this thing is going to go to nature. So let's see, um... <sighs> if you plug your nose, there is like a pleasant flavor there. You just have to cut, just mind the buses, you just have to cut off the, um, the foul smell, and it's very, um, creamy and, like, custardy. It's, like, it's kind of like, um, jackfruit, like I've been saying, um, except it's, like, it's very, it's, it is very sweet, it's very creamy tasting, it's got, like, a lot of, like, little subtle flavors in it, it just has that nasty, foul, rotting foot flavor sprinkled all over that niceness, so it kind of makes it hard to enjoy. Um, from what I remember, like, durian tasting, like, Chempadax are sweeter, um, which I'm not sure if that makes it better or worse, it's kind of like, the sweetness makes it, like, a little disturbing in a way, um, just because you're taking something that's, like, pleasant and you're mixing it with something that's unpleasant, so it just doesn't, doesn't really mesh very well. Like, if you put a gun to my head and had me try to say something pleasant about it, like, if you got rid of that foul taste, if you got used to it, um, it's not bad. 
it's got, it tastes kind of like jackfruit, but like my, but with like a different like texture. So it's like creamy jackfruit in a way. But my question would be like, why not just eat jackfruit? Um, it is completely different. Maybe if you eat enough of this, you get used to that funk and it's okay. But um, as it is, this stuff is, um, it's really nasty. You know, like I, I can't, uh, I can't eat any more of it. It smells and um, it's not allowed in hotel rooms for a reason. Even just having this in a bag, uncut, in my room, I was, I was smelling it. Uh, I put it like in the corner of my room and I was smelling it like laying in bed trying to sleep. I smelled the Jepidac uh, wafting <laughs> across the room. Maybe it's, it's a refined taste. Maybe I'm just not enlightened enough to enjoy it. And um, if you enjoy it, I'm sorry for comparing it to a homeless person's armpit. But um, for me, that's that's what Chumpadex tastes like, and um, I think that not this time around, but I think I might tackle a durian uh, later this year. I, I plan on coming back to Malaysia, and I will have durian for you. But right now, I can't build up the courage for it. If I can't get through a Chumpadex, I don't think I'll be able to get through a durian. I think that Chumpadex are kind of like gateway fruit. If you can get yourself through jackfruit and snake fruit, you go to Chempadak, and that's a big hurdle uh, compared to a jackfruit. Uh, but once you get over that, and I think durian isn't, uh, isn't far away. That's, this is pretty close to a durian, even though it's not technically related to it. Uh, I think I've babbled on enough about this. Uh, it's been nice doing these videos here in Malaysia, and I will um, come back to New York now. Uh, I've got one more day here, and tomorrow I'm, I'm going back, and then I'll see what I can find in, in New York City. I'll do some more food videos there. But hope you've been enjoying all these videos, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Makes a man, is it the woman in his arms? Just cause she has big titties. Or is it the way he fights every day? No, it's probably the titty